Evening flutter. And you too. You take care, my lovely. I'm fostering them on behalf of Second Chance Fox Rescue. Just so that they had a good start in life. He certainly has, Shelley. But like I say, he's sleeping. Um, Simon's mum was poisoned. Yeah, we'll be safe to re release them, Kerry, because they're going to go back with other foxes. And then they'll, they will revert back to being wild within a couple of weeks. Yeah, me and Carol are both fine. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Simo. I hope they can find their way. Now, I, if they, I don't want them to find their way back, Rebecca, purely because if, if they were around here, I'd love it, don't get me wrong. I'd love it, but if one of them was to get run over, I would never forgive myself. And it's going to be very hard to let them go. It is. No, they're not from the same litter, Siobhan. Because they're what, Jay, I can't keep them. They're wild foxes. They'll be getting released properly out into the wild at the end of August, beginning of September. It's a fox cub user. Thank you, Mary. Just the two, Lena. Any money they do know? No, well, we'll see what happens, Sharon, but I hope they don't because there's a lot of main roads and big roads. Yeah, he's fine. He's just asleep, this one. No, mum was poisoned. No, Biscuit was put put to sleep last September. She had severe lungworm. We couldn't let her suffer. I know, I am very attached, and the thought of giving them back Lorna, it cripples me, to be fair. Uh, now I'm prepared, Kerry. Yes, I will do it again. Yeah, housing development people probably, Ronnie. Um, I believe you can, but it's not advisable, Simo. It's just not fair. Um, yeah, I can, Zach. Well, I do, Zach, I should say. Simon's just disappeared under the sofa again. Yeah, Carol's home now. She's in the other room. She do She just doesn't want to get too attached to them, so she, co she does come in when they're out. Yeah, they have at the moment, Lena, but then the foxes over at Second Chance Fox Rescue have been indoors as well. Um, this little guy's six weeks old now. And he's called Magoo. Um, on the plate at the moment, they've got chicken breast cut up and they've got minced raw chicken as well. No, that's fine, Zach. Um, they'll eat, they eat minced beef. They'll have a little bit of cat food or dog food. So, yeah, this is Magoo. But like I say, he's just, he's just zonked. He does sleep quite a lot, this little one. He's definitely a little cutie. Aren't you, baby? I'm just adopted. I've not adopted. I've fostered them um, from Second Chance Fox Rescue, Jamie. Yeah, he's a lot better now, Kerry. He's absolutely fine. Two weeks now without any seizures. And he's started to come on in leaps and bounds. So you know, I won't keep touching him while he's asleep. But he's a little cutie. Just look at that little face. Sleepy, sleepy boy. Yeah, fingers crossed, Amanda. It can be any reason, Bubbles. It's um, it could be a stomach. It could have been a stomach infection or a stomach ache. It could have been anything, just like a baby. Or, you know, I know it wasn't this, but he could have been too hot. He wasn't too hot because I made sure of that. But, um, yeah, no no explanation. No, I'm fostering him, Danielle, for Second Chance Fox Rescue. I hope not, user 1663. They should have, hopefully, they will have forgotten me by then because they're going to be, where are we now, May, June, July, August. They're going to be at Second Chance Fox Rescue for three, four months. I know it's going to be really, really hard, Jade, but... 
Yeah, the other one still come at night, Shaz. No, the mum um, was poisoned, Karis. I'm just going to go and find Simon. Oh, I can see him. Simon! Come on, baby. Come on. Right, Simon's just coming out over there. Come on, babes. He's just picked up that little red teddy. Come on, then. Come on, baby. I would think they would be missing their mum, Tony, yeah. Oh, let me see if I can get Simon to come back out. Mate, where are you? Yeah, they, they're fine with the cats. They want, they want to chase the cats. Kenny doesn't care. Norman hisses at them a little bit, but he hasn't gone for them or... Can't really see him under there. Come on, baby. Come on. Simon. You just see part of his tail. Come on, then. Come on. Oh, he's got the octopus again. Let me see if I can get it. Come on then, come on then, <laughs> come on, come on. Well, as I say, it's certainly been an experience, one I've thoroughly enjoyed. Are you tired, baby? Are you? No, he's going to go back under that. This is what happens when I let them out and they're tired. They do disappear under the sofa. Come on. Hello, hello. Let's look at your little cute face a minute, shall we? We've been looking at Magoo. Now we're going to look at Simon. No, Ashley, it's been tw uh, 22 weeks now. <laughs> what are you doing? Just the two, Fran. Yeah, definitely. No, Clarabelle, they'll go back out into the wild. <laughs> Simon, come on, mate. Yeah, we'll be very sad to see them go, Shah. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, yeah, I've still got the cats. Simon? Where are you, mate? <laughs> no, can't see him at all. So... Um, well, they're not actually brothers. No. I've lost him. He's in, he's in here somewhere. I'm not worried about where he is. Um, no, they're not actually brothers. We thought they were brothers initially. But Simon's mum was definitely poisoned. He was on a building site. And then Magoo was supposed to be his brother. But we don't think he is because he's a lot younger. Let me just go back. I don't know, Jade, if they would ban manage to get back here or not. If they came back here, Ke uh, Catexo, then, well, I guess I'd just have to deal with that at the time, but I'm hoping they, were, they won't. So, no, they won't be released near my home. Thank you, Char. Oh, I can't say your name. I'll have to call you Barclay. Barclay. No, I'm going to visit them every week, Kerry, and then I will go with them to be released. And then that's the end of that journey. They got into my house because I'm fostering them for Second Chance Fox Rescue. Right, let's put the camera back on Magoo. Yeah, yeah, I'll take more more in in the future. Hello, mate. You're right there, baby. No, they released them around six months old, Matthew. No, Oreo doesn't calm Marky. He's not been since January 23. Basil's been missing for 22 weeks now. No, I won't release them near my house because of the roads. Definitely won't do that. No, they'll be fine because they're going back to Second Chance Fox Rescue and then they will dehumanise, for the want of a better word. 
Yeah, I don't know what's happened with Basil, unfortunately. He's just fast asleep. Hello, Charlie. I'm fine, thank you. So, yeah, don't worry about them um, being too humanised. They will revert back to being wild when they mix with the other foxes. No, they haven't bitten. They playfully, I mean, they'll playfully bite like a puppy would. The originals, Chip Chip and Cookie, and then Chip Chip's Cubs. So that's Pip, Daphne and Jimmy. Um, yeah, that's it really. So out of the originals, Basil's missing and Biscuit is obviously gone, bless her heart. Yeah, I hope Basil's okay, but he did disappear just before mating season, so there is every chance he is in a different territory somewhere. I keep hoping he'll come back one day, but who knows. Yeah, they are very content, Lynette. Thank you, Rachel. She had to be put to sleep in September last year, Becky, as she had severe lungworm, irreversible, and rather than a cruel away under a bush and die in pain we did the kindest thing for her you never know jade i'm hoping i know it it does make me think about doing it next year because you do get attached you can't avoid it you try not to yep it's going to be really hard marilyn but like i say i'm going to go and see them every week to make sure that they're okay well not to make sure they're okay i know they'll be okay over there but um, they've got to live their life as they should. Yeah, bless him. But he's definitely a little cutie, this one. Yeah, yeah, the squirrel's still calm, sure. It was a breathing, she had breathing issues and then when the, when she eventually got to see the vet, because I couldn't get anyone around here to help her, they did x-rays or scans, whatever, and they just, they knew it was the lung worm. But Second Chance Fox Rescue have been brilliant. Talking of Second Chance Fox Rescue, they are trying to get a van for Fox Rescue um, and they're in desperate need of donations. So if anybody can donate to them, if you go over onto their page, um, there is a crowdfunding site. Hi, Gems. I'm good. Thank you. I think it's you, Linda. Yes, yeah, she definitely was, Tony. Well, you woke up a little bit, mate. No, he says I haven't really. I'm just getting more comfy. Right, I'm just going to leave the phone here a minute, guys, because I want to just check on where Simon is. I know he's all right, but I don't like it when they just don't appear for a while. I can't see your comments for a few minutes. Simon, where are you, mate? Simon, where are you? Hey, where you gone? Right, Simon is under the sofa, curled up asleep. So... So there we have it. At least I know where he is. Don't we, Magoo? We know where he is. Now you're going to wake up, are you? Yeah? Wakey, wakey. Hello, mate. Oh, I know they are both tired, to be fair. Normally they would, well, after the day they've had, they would be asleep now, wouldn't you, eh? But this one doesn't like cuddles. No, they actually sleep at night, which is good. Don't you, mate, Hey, Yes.
usually on this shower curtain or on these puppy pads. Hang on, let's move that. Hang on, Magoo's just gone. Come here. There. Yeah. Now he's got a bit of life in him. Now off he goes. Okay, that's it. They've gone under the sofas. <laughs> Typical. Hi, Katie. Simon, Magoo. Come on, babies. No, they're not house trained. There's just the two. Right. Hold on a minute, I'm flipping this back round because um, I'm going to have them for another couple of weeks, well another 10 days roughly and then they're going to be going back. Right, I'm just putting you guys there a minute. I want to put this pen back up so that I can get them in here. So I can't see your comments for a moment. Well, yeah, I just want to see if I can get them. How long? Oh, probably a lot, Annie. But I'm vi I am videoing every day. Yeah, the cubs are from Second Chance Fox Rescue. And I've just been fostering them. But now I want to try and get them both back into this pen. I'll just find out where they've gone. Yeah, under this sofa. Right, I am still here. Thank you, Annie. Um, they're six and seven weeks at the moment. I'm just moving my table. Right, come here. Come here, little man. Honestly, things you have to do to get a cub. Come on. Come on. Oi, come here. Simon, come here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, you go to the furthest point. Yeah, yeah, they'll be fine when they go back, Katie. They'll, they'll, they'll um, dehumanise. Oh, that's nice, Alison. No, I mean, it would be great if they still had their mother. Right, who have I got here? I know. Come on, I can get you. Come on, Magoo. <laughs> oh, my days. They're little buggers. Who's biting me? <laughs> my arms are just not quite long. Right, who have I got? Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on, Simon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, right, I've got one here. Right, Magoo, come on. Now, I don't have to be with them 24-7. I was when Magoo was having seizures, but... Right, in there, baby. Right, Simon's in the pen. Oh, hello. It's a little shit. <laughs> Magoo's just run. <laughs> Cats are fine with them. Hold on a minute, I've got to go over the back of the so. He goes to the one bit that I just can't get to. Come on, Magoo. Hello, Sai. Yeah, the, I'm still feeding the adult ones. Gotcha. Here we go. Here's my goo. Oh, gosh. That was hard going then. Right, in you go, Poppet. Right, let me just spin this back round. And. Right. There we go. You can't see the adult ones because they don't come till later on. Right, this is going very... Um, they have lots of different things. They have minced beef, they have minced raw chicken, they have chicken um, breasts. Right, stop it, you. No, the house doesn't smell. We do ask everybody who comes in. I'm, I'm just fostering them on behalf of Second Chance Fox Rescue, Mar Marth. They're very spoiled, to be fair. They have Sometimes they have some cat food, they'll have dog food. Haven't seen the badger in about two months now. Oh, great, Simon's having a poo. 
So I want to just clear that up. Yeah, all raw because they need the protein. Right, I'm popping the phone there a second. Simon will attempt to grab it. I can tell you that now. I just need to clear that bit of poo up, otherwise it will stink. So I can't see your comments. Oh, mate. I've mastered that now without getting it everywhere. <coughs> um. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get them some food. Let me just go back through. No, like I say, the house doesn't smell. Spoil, yeah, hang on. Four to five week old kittens in their mums. Oh, that's nice, Jen, and that's sad somebody would do that. Right, guys, I'm just going to put the phone here, here a second. I'm going to go and get them some food and then they can sit and eat just trying to do it so you can still see them right you can see my goo at the moment i think i'm going to attempt to leave my phone against there a sec right back in two secs <laughs> you two huh oh you knocked the phone over did you sorry about that we knocked the phone over right get off get off well get off the phone right ho hold on sorry just trying to do it so that the phone doesn't fall hopefully you, you can still see a bit of movement there right hold on boys hold on Right, here we go. Right, they've got some food coming. Come on then. Simon, here. Magoo, here. Leave that off there. Right, so they're tucking in. Oh, was it Magoo? Yeah, I've got a nice ceiling. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> so yeah, Simon's there eating. And Magoo is chopping in there. Um, she was poisoned, Dave. Yeah, probably did, um, Gully. <laughs> but like I say, they really are so cute. He doesn't have to make some noises. If you, go, if you go near him, he don't like it. Very protective of his food. They've got some cat food here at the moment. I've had them for about four weeks now. I've got them for another 10 days, Dave. They've come from Second Chance Fox Rescue. I've fostered them. Hi, Anna. Nice to meet you and welcome. I know it happens though, Millie Molly. That's the sad part. Simon's nearly cleared his. Oh, nice one, Scott. Yes, the ones I still see the ones outside the house at night. Well, it's six o'clock on a Saturday night, Kiari, you know what time. Thank you, Sai. Si. I've done my best, but I think they're thriving and they're going to be fit and healthy. So, no, they're going to go back um, just over well, about 10 days, Stephanie. Simon is ten, uh, uh, seven to ten days older than Magoo. Not too bad, Nigel. No, what will happen is they're going to go back to Second Chance Fox Rescue in roughly ten days' time, and then 
they'll mix with the other foxes, they will dehumanise. Simon is hungry, he's eaten a lot. Yeah, he's cleared the bowl. Um, they will dehumanise and they'll be back going back to wild uh, wired again. Wild again. Yes, uh, Muna, I am. No, it's fine, Muna, no problem. Thank you, Millie Molly. Hi, James. Right, Simon is now laying down here. But what I'll be doing shortly is finishing the live and then they can go back in the crate, back in the, I'll put the crate back in the other room. No, it wouldn't be fair to keep them Chloe because they're wild animals. No Agnes, she hasn't been for 22 weeks. No, Biscuit passed away last September, Natalie. Thank you, trying to get my hike on. Hello, Debs. I'm good, thank you. How are you, all right? Yeah, to be fair, Magoo's finished that his as well now. Yeah, you have, Kiari. What's going on? Six o'clock on a Saturday night. Yes, they are, Rachel. Well, I say that. Simon here is very cuddly. He lets you cuddle him. Whereas this little guy, you can only really sort of half cuddle him if he's asleep. So, good to hear it, Debs. Yeah, and Magoo, Magoo's a little thug. Anyway, next week, 6 o'clock. Hang on, I'm just putting you there a second because I know he won't knock you over for a minute. Yeah, next week, 6 o'clock. I'm just having a mouthful of a drink. Yeah, 6 o'clock next Saturday. And then that will be the last live with these little guys. Or is Magoo going to knock the phone over again? I can't keep them user 1007. Thank you, Gracie. They are doing very well, Diane. They're doing brilliantly. And it has been, like I say, it has been hard week work. Magoo's just checking Simon's bowl now. No, she was poisoned trying to get my hike on. I'm just fostering them, Steve, for second chance fox rescue. They're going to go back to second chance fox rescue in about 10 days time, mix with the other foxes, dehumanise and then be released out into the world when they're six months old. Well, I'd like to think probably any time because Simon's got his pretty quick, but with Magoo having those seizures, I don't know if it's put him behind a little bit. Anyway, doing our best with them. Well, I've done my best with them. Blood, sweat and tears. Hi, Louise. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you, Debs. No, because they're going to be released probably an hour or so away from me. So they won't be able to come back here with a bit of luck. I mean, I don't mean that in a nasty sense, but... It's just, God forbid, if, I, if one of them got run over, it would absolutely kill me. Yeah, I will foster more cubs if it's needed next year. just depends. I am going to really miss them, Roro. Thank you, Adrian. Well, I'm just at my back door having some fresh air a minute. But they're both in sight there, you can see them. So Simon's curled up now, going to sleep. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, they're both going to want to go to sleep in a minute. So, yeah, definitely fre <laughs> fresh air, Kiari. Thank you, Marilyn. Oh, has it, Katie? Yeah, they will get released together. They, they may they may do Sweet Psycho, but hopefully they'll be far enough away that they won't and they will have forgotten me by then. Yeah, she's okay. She's gone up for a shower. Because I said to her, I'm going to do the live and then I'm going to go and have a shower and then I'm going to have din well, sort dinner out and I've got to sort food out for the other foxes. I know, Shelley. 
I really, I am dreading it if I'm being totally honest. Absolutely, Linda. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my hands still, but I keep moving my feet. But what I'm going to do in a minute is put this crate back in the other room and then put them both back in the crate because then they, they can go for a proper sleep because they've had a broken sleep this last couple of hours. I was trying to keep them up for you guys, but it doesn't always happen. I know, they're just so cute. Yeah, probably Kiari. If I if if it's needed, I've said I, I don't mind next year as well. But just bear in mind it's only gonna be once a year if I if I can. Oh that's nice, sweet psycho. They're very cute. And they say it's hard not to get attached to them, and I'm very attached to them. I'm just fostering them, Luna, for Second Chance Fox Rescue. Because their mother was poisoned. Well, um, one, Simon's mother was poisoned, and these were two cubs that were taken in. I know, and that's the thing, Marilyn. It's like having a kitten or a puppy when they grow up. And a lot of people then don't want the pet once it's grown up. But that's not obviously not the case with these little guys. They are wild and they do need to go back out and be wild. Hence me only having them for roughly six weeks in total. Giving them the best start in life they can have. And then they can get back out and do what they should be doing. As much as it will kill me. I know that. I know it's a set... It, well, this is a trial this year, Andrew. If I get too emotional, maybe... No, I would do it again next year. If they if they needed me, I'll do it. As you know me with foxes, I can't say no. 